Hey guys, it's Inca 4x4, and thank you for being in this one. I want to shout out Hackery for sending me out this unit. We have a special coupon for this all-in-one diesel unit. Uh, this is my personal diesel heater. I've had it for over a year. Probably put more abuse to it than I should have. It's held up really great. We're going to see if there's any differences with the one they sent me out. It's supposed to be the same one. We're going to go through all the specs. But in the description, you're not going to want to miss it. We have a 20% off coupon for this. And I'm telling you, if you're trying to build one out, you're going to spend more money trying to build it. This is all in one Bluetooth with the tank and everything. You can't beat it for the price. So, And then on top, you got a 20% coupon. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. We do a lot of off-roading, overlanding, vehicle travel, whatever you want to call it, content where we build overland trailers. I have a 96 Land Rover Defender diesel with a camper conversion. We've had Jeeps, a Toyotas, everything. Our online store for the best prices, IncaOverlandOutfitters.com, everything from rooftop tents, uh, stoves, fridges, uh, battery systems, whatever you need, um, we have, and you will get the best prices guaranteed. So go over to our website and thank you to all my subscribers that have been following the channel and subscribing, commenting, and all that. I really appreciate it. We've built up the channel about 2000 subscribers and yeah, I'm just growing. So thank you again. And um, without further ado, let's get right into this unboxing. Thank you. All right, so again, this is my unit I've had for about a year now, probably a little bit more. I got it for this event called Winter Wonderland. Um, they do every year, shout out to Sean. Um, I highly recommend going over this site, Venture Unknown, great group of guys in the Southeast, do all sorts of great work. Um, and so I'm wearing a shirt. Uh, little side note, I had my first son, so I've, and he was born around the event, so I couldn't go, but I did get a hoodie and so I'm wearing it and yeah so this thing the cool thing about it is all in one unit I have another video so I'm just gonna link that below I'm not gonna go into full detail on the actual unit we're just gonna see if there's any differences from this to last year and I'll point them out if they are um, I haven't unboxed this yet but we'll just go over the stats and basically you just need as little as a uh, the smallest Jackery, I think this is like 280, the one that they sell at Harbor Freight for about like $250. Um, this, with a with a tank of diesel, you should be good at least for one to two nights. So, um, just to kind of give you a reference point, but on on the product specification right here, this is the HCA1, and it's a 12 volt. Um, the the packing size is um, it's in millimeters, so I'll just put it below. It, it is metal and plastic and it weighs about 9.9 .9 kilograms. Um, the HCA1B is uh, the Bluetooth option. So the difference between the Bluetooth and the non-Bluetooth is just that B at the end. So um, the one that's in here is a Bluetooth one. It says contains the, the B one. So they have, um, it is made in China. Um, they named the manufacturer here. Um, Put that all in the description there's a um on whatsapp you can if you dial in this number you could probably message them they have an email here so i guess you know if you need any technical support um and i have bought some stuff from china and i'll tell you it's crazy that it's coming quicker and quicker some of these products like um batteries and all that stuff uh they, they've just been shipping pretty quick, but on the label here, they have the logo, diesel, air, car, heater, and it just kind of specifies like all the different uh, options they have, uh, safe and easy to use, um, applicable multi-vehicle models, camping and indoor. Oh, so it does say indoor. Um, like the Coleman heaters, the different, the main difference you're going to have with this is that you're not going to have that condensation buildup like a uh, buddy heater. Uh, the buddy heater is, is to me, it's quick to turn on. There's like a little bit more steps to assembling this, but um, the, the great thing that you're going to have with this is you're going to have no condensation, but I don't know this 
doesn't have like a tip over, like the buddy heater, if it tips over, it, you know, shuts off. This, I don't think it has any kind of feature like that. So, and also the, the little diesel port, I'll just show you real quick, um, has a little vent. So I'm, I'm assuming if this tipped over and it was full of diesel, you know, it starts spilling out. So uh, on that, on that part, it's a little, those are some differences you might see between like a buddy heater and one of these diesel heater. A lot of these diesel heaters are pretty much the same. Um, when they first came out, they were pretty pricey. And I'll just kind of show you what, what you can expect so far. Opening up, I am tell, you know, it's pretty much the same, the same unit. I'll tell you one quick thing about assembling this. You're gonna have to, uh, it has these two little holes here that you're gonna screw into the box. That's not the hard part. Um, it has a little indentation where it'll go through and like self-tapping screws that'll come in here. The, the, the tougher part is actually to drill out a little hole big enough to where the, the diesel line will go in through. So you don't want to make it too big to where, you know, it's going to start leaking um, diesel out of. You want to make it just right. So whatever bit the instructions tell you to use, use that. And then what you'll end up having to do is use some kind of wire, like hard wire, running wire, almost like the electrical um, wire thing you use to like run wire through something. Like if you were trying to go through your firewall on your vehicle, so that way you can pull it once it's there. Because either way, there's no way to get your hand in there and try to position it. So um, I hear something rolling around in there. And yeah, it looks like it's exactly that. So I'll kind of walk up so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. These, I don't know if it'll focus, these self-tapping screws. And then this one right here is the one you got to fish through once you put it in there and it comes with o-rings so that way it's a nice clean seal uh, so i'll put that back in there my main thing with this video is just to kind of give you that discount because it's a pretty it's 20 percent off so it's it's cheaper than you're going to find at amazon and to just see if there's any differences in last year to this year maybe they made improvements you know maybe the plastics um, more heavy duty that kind of thing so uh, that's the main goal with this video so let's take the actual unit out but if you want to see it running I'll link some videos that I have because I've already done a, a review on this before and yeah I like it for the price point you can't beat it um, a lot of people try to make them, um, but by the time you get the Pelican case or even the Harbor Freight, all the little components to it, you're spending, you know, way more than, than what one of these costs. So here is, let's see, and it looks like on this one, the little cover for the screen, it's coming off. So it's like, it's just an adhesive. So it just glues back on. It looks like it just didn't sit right or moved around in shipping. But here's a little remote. I have no idea where my remote is to mine, but I know I, I got one. So it, it has a nice little cover for it, I guess, so you don't press the buttons if you're laying in bed or something and accidentally turn it off. Um, let's see, let's take this out. I almost want to say the plastic feels a little bit more heavy duty. Let me... I don't know, maybe they used like some kind of different plastic or something, but I feel like at least this here doesn't feel as malleable as this one. So I don't know, maybe they're improving them. Um, but we could take a look at it from from here. 
and it's got like a mesh vent here. So this is not like submersible. You can't, you know, have this in water. It's not waterproof. Neither one was the last one. And comes with instructions. And let me see, I'll just kind of highlight. Let's see if I can quickly. It's just nine pages in English. So it looks like a big manual, but it's just nine pages in English. They have Dutch, French, Italian, Spanish, Russian, Czech, Polish. Um, and my main thing is connecting. Is, is it, they tell you what size, what size bit to use. Let me see if I can find it. There's, oh, one, one thing I'll tell you is that uh, someone that purchased this and a couple of people I've noticed, if you're an Android user, the app, you have to either email them or get the older version of the app for it to work. So that's another thing someone pointed out to me. I don't know if this one's the latest one. If someone's using the newest one, they don't mind dropping a comment saying whether or not, you know, the app has no problems for Android users. For Apple users, I haven't had any problems with the app. Gives you whole bunch of error codes right here on page on page eight from startup failure abnormal voltage oil pump abnormalities so it'll it'll throw a code like e something so you can diagnose it um, there's even more like and, and they also have like a solutions page so they don't tell you I guess what bit to use so I'm not seeing that function. Nope, I'm not seeing that. So, um, probably not that hard to figure out, you know, just start off small, but they give you a ton of extra um, wire feed or the line feed, the diesel line feed. So you only need a short bit of this. So they give you a bunch of it. Um, and then you can see all of this fits into here. So, and that's how I carry mine. Mine has everything from the connector to the, the ducts and everything like that. Have them all connected. I never did. I'll show you one other thing that I set up with mine. It has these, these little, I'll walk up to you and show you. It has these little connections, these little brackets here that basically go on the top of this unit so you can hang it uh, these extra terminals they'll be like whole, they'll be positioned up here like that and so will the, the exhaust one on the other side and I don't use mine like that because then it just becomes an extra thing here um, I like to keep mine as um, condensed as possible and uh, I found that I don't really need it when I set it up I usually set it up outside my vehicle so and I just funnel the, the actual heating section to the tent. And then let's look at the inside. It pretty much comes with everything like the other one. The little muffler. And we'll do a close up on the All right, guys, so I laid out everything here and I'm gonna grab the camera so I could show you just everything that's included, but we're pretty much wrapping this up. And to me, the plastic seems a little bit better. The rest of it seems exactly the same, which has been more than enough for what I've needed. Uh, so let me just grab this camera here and just kind of hover over and show you the whole system, um, the diesel tank, the the guts of it this is 
the actual exhaust is is uh, taped in this kind of special like film here. Um, so you know this this is going to get really hot. Um, this is secured in here really well because there's a fan in here, and in other diesel heaters, uh, there's been again error code if the if the fan is not freely spinning that's happened to me on like another diesel heater that i had um it's got a filter so remember to check out clean out this filter um when you know from time to time um that it gives you the connections to hardwire it but you can also um attach a a like a cigarette lighter because that's what i do I switched this out for a little cigarette lighter and I attach it to my to my jackery. The, the muffler, all the hardware, everything you need is in here. And the way I set up mine is the same. All these things fit in here for me to just travel with this in one convenient package. So uh, I'm gonna set you back down and let's just uh i do like this unit i highly recommend it i appreciate hackery sending it to me and again in the description 20 percent off coupon um if you have any other questions about any of the products that you, you might see from the rooftop tents the fridges the slide outs whatever uh, feel free to drop in the comment and uh you know if i can help in any way i'll you know try to help out so i appreciate it and i'll see you on the next video thank you so much